with the system being fully above 60 degrees north, the Helsinki Metro is the world's northernmost metro system. It achieves this by running mostly east-west across the Finnish capital, and also serves the city of Espo. Let's head up north and check it out. The Helsinki Metro needed quite some time to actually be realized. The idea was there early, and for around 50 years, the idea was floated quite a few times. In 1955, a committee was formed to study the idea. While the committee later clearly concluded that the metro system was needed, it did not clearly define the metro system, leaving underground trams or even buses on the table. In 1963, the first proposal was a light rail system that would mostly run in the shallow tunnel. The distance between stops would be small, with 10 stations in the city center section between Roholachti and Sörneinen. Eventually, six stops would be located in this section. In the end, in 1969, a plan was approved for a heavy rail metro, which would run between Kampi and Portila. Instead of being placed in a shallow tunnel, it would now be a line running 30 meters deep below the ground, placed in a solid bedrock. The line was opened in 1982 and was gradually extended eastwards and westwards. The largest expansion since is the so-called Lensi Metro project, which connects the neighboring city of Espo to the metro network. This project was somewhat problematic, running two and a half times over budget and facing a delay of more than a year. While the physical construction was not the biggest issue, the automation and safety systems were. During this project, the driverless operation of the metro system was scrapped due to issues with the operating system and the necessary retrofitting of the older trains. The 13.9 km extension finally opened in November 2017. In 2014, approval was also given for a second stage of this extension, up to Kivenlachti. It is the most recent extension, which opened in December 2022. This brings us to the system of today. It uses a gauge of 1522 mm which is compatible with the mainline railway network of Finland. The total network length is now 42 kilometers, and it uses a 750 volts DC third rail. The system has two depots. The metro system is operated by two lines, of which line M1 runs between Kivenlahti and Vosari. Line M2 runs between Tapiola and Melumaki. The two branches split at Itakeskus, where you can also make a connection to the Jokeri light rail. Further connections to the Jokeri light rail are at Alto Uliopisto and Keilanjami. Another important connection is of course the central station of Helsinki. This video about the Helsinki Metro is part of an already 36 episode long series of videos of transport systems. I would love to show you many more in the future, therefore it would be really helpful if you like my video and subscribe to my channel. Let's now take a look at the fleet. The Metro of Helsinki is using three different train types, which they marked as the M100, M200 and M300 series. The oldest type in the fleet are the two car trains produced by Valnet Strömberg, delivered between 1977 and 1984, and were therefore the first metros to enter service. These trains are now operating in double traction, forming four car combinations. The next type in the fleet is, very surprising, the M200, which is made by Bombardier. Also, these trains are two car sets, which then form four car combinations as well. These trains were delivered between 2000 and 2001. The final and newest type is the M300, made by the Spanish manufacturer CAF. These are four car train sets and were delivered between 2015 and 2017 with the first batch. Later on, in 2020, five additional trains were ordered, which were then delivered by 2022. So how many people make use of the system? The Metro of Helsinki has a decent ridership given its limited scale. 79 million passengers used the Helsinki Metro during 2023. It is not the highest ridership for a metro, but there is still a lot of room to grow. Given all the projects and development along the route, I think this ridership will increase further. So what does the future hold? 
The plans for the extension of the metro system are there, although the chances of seeing any new construction ahead of 2030 are slim. The most likely extension is a connection eastward from Melumaki through newly developed areas towards Maivik. Somewhat more vague are the plans for a second metro line, mostly running in the north-south direction, which could stretch as far as Helsinki Airport in the north and Santa Hamina Station in the south. It would connect to the existing line at Kampi. And that's it for the metro system of Helsinki. Click over here for my video about the Jokeri Light Rail project. And as always, thank you very much for watching.